Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining the session. And um, I want to talk about how do we do end to end inbound delivery process. Okay, so in the quick video, what we're going to do? So we will do end to end uh, delivery process, inbound delivery process, in which we're going to create a PO with the MV21N. We're going to, in the PO, we will put confirmation control key. We'll create inbound delivery month. We will create an inbound delivery using transaction code VL31N and also using transaction code VL34. So we'll see both. Then uh, inbound delivery can be created manually. So we create a PO. That is the step number one. We create an inbound delivery. Inbound delivery can be created multiple different ways. You can create inbound delivery manually, VL31N or VL34. You can also create inbound delivery using uh, inbound EDI 856. And if you have a EDI 856 configured, inbound EDI which is coming from vendor can also automatically create delivery. Then once you create a inbound delivery, then we can also create a transfer order, which is uh, used for the purpose of put away. So we can create inbound, uh, we can also create a transfer order for put away process. We will create transfer order. We can create transfer order using VL32N. We can also create transfer order using inbound delivery monitor. We're going to check in both different ways. We can also confirm transfer order. So we'll see that how transfer order can be confirmed. So we'll check that as well, which is the confirmation of the transfer order. Then uh, confirmation of transfer order you can do with LT12. You can do uh, using inbound delivery monitor. We will see in both different methods. If you are using handheld devices, then confirmation of transfer order can be done with handheld devices. We will verify in delivery status. Then what is the status of delivery? So we'll verify that as well. We will do the packing. Sorry, could you say that again? My apologies. I so we will also uh, do the packing of inbound delivery so we'll do packing function as well then we'll also do unpacking we will do uh, guru seat posting uh, using the inbound delivery vl32n or we will verify stock in wm and we will also do post guru seat uh, using inbound delivery monitor so that will be the second method in which we're going to use delivery monitor. so this is what uh, basically we will be creating so processes start with the po so we create purchase order so for the purchase order same transaction code which is me21n so we create a po so purchase order has been created this po is a regular po only one field is different which is confirmation control key Apart from that uh, confirmation control key, everything else in this uh, purchase order is exactly the same. There is no difference of anything except that one field. So everything is same. We enter the PO or vendor, any vendor, any standard vendor which we have created. So we will uh, use the vendor. Hit enter. Then uh, we enter the material. Now in this material, uh, because we're gonna also create inbound delivery with the uh, uh, transfer order. And uh, so basically we can create uh, uh, material. We can create a, enter the PO, say 100 pieces. And um, we enter the price. Now the important thing here is that there is a confirmation control key. In this confirmation control key, we should have an inbound delivery. This is in confirmation control key must be there because of this confirmation control key system will allow us to do inbound delivery and then we save it. So see the message in the bottom, create a PO. We make a note of the purchase order. Now this PO is exactly the same PO as we have done before. Okay, so this PO is the same purchase order as we have done multiple time there's nothing different in this view except that this PO has a 
confirmation control key. Remember this confirmation control key because that is important. Then we want to create an inbound delivery. Now inbound delivery can be created multiple different ways. So manual processing, you can also do collective processing. So this is a collective processing. If you do collective processing, transaction code is VL34. So that is for collective processing. Uh, individual manual processing. So individual manual processing is VL31N. So we can have a VL31N or we can create automatically using EDI856. If in your system, in your if in your environment, EDI in 856 has been configured, then inbound delivery can be created automatically using in inbound EDI 856 automatically. We are creating manually. Okay, so we go back. We make an order purchase order. So here we have a inbound delivery transaction code VL31 N. It is part of logistic, logistic execution, inbound process, good receipt for inbound delivery, inbound delivery, create single document VL31. It's an individual processing manually. We hit enter. Here I can enter my vendor, enter my purchase order, then I hit enter. And when I hit enter, then it allow me to create. And that's it. If we save it, done. That's one way. Second way is basically to create collective processing, which is VL34. If you go to VL34, here we can enter my purchase order number. This is my PO number. And uh, I can uh, basically hit execute and then system will give you message in the bottom simulation result one inbound delivery notification are determined this is the test run see that here this test run if i take this test run off and then i hit execute and if i hit execute then test run goes away now see here inbound delivery one eight zero 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 seven six eight has been confirmed has been set so now this was the we looked at it how do we create inbound delivery individually vl31n or we also look at how we can create inbound delivery collectively using transaction code vl34 so this was vl34 we go back we go back now we go to the change mode of the inbound delivery this is vl32n this is the inbound delivery we make a note of it one one eight zero zero seven sixty eight hit enter. Now this is inbound delivery. So meanwhile, I make a note of my inbound delivery. So this is inbound delivery we created. Now after inbound delivery, we have here. See that no WM warehouse transfer order required. So what do we do? So we say okay. We enter this. Store locations, we enter its location double zero double eight. So it's a location when you enter double zero double eight because this is a location is connected to a warehouse. Then we hit enter, then see what happens. This become a it was blank, it become a means system is ask, asking us, system is telling us that now we need transfer order, and then warehouse number comes here. So this is the warehouse number. So warehouse number appears here. So there's a warehouse number which comes. So this status A should be there. If you want to create a transfer order, you cannot create a transfer order unless you have a status A. And status A tells me that for this inbound delivery, in order to complete put away, we need transfer order. So now we go to transfer process. We save it. Now, how do we create a transfer order? So transfer order can be created uh, directly, VL32N. 
we can create a transfer order using inbound delivery monitor VL0, VL06i. So we're going to see in both different ways. So first, how do we do uh, using uh, directly using VL32N? So this is the VL32N. And uh, if you go to subsequent functions and create transfer order, and we put the plant here, and then system will allow me to create it. And then this is a create TO for inbound delivery. I select the put, put away in foreground. And then system tells me that, okay, this is allowing me to create a transfer order. And I can save it. And then we are done. I'm not doing that. So I exit out from here. I exit out from here. I'm not saving it. So we saw how do we create a transfer order from VL32N. That's the one way. Now, secondly, we want to create a transfer order using inbound delivery monitor. So how do we do that? So we want to go to here. There is a list. There is an inbound delivery monitor. So we go to VL06i. And now here, this inbound delivery monitor, various things you can do here. And one of them is for put away. We click on the put away. And then uh, we enter our inbound delivery number. So there are different selection criteria here. You can select uh, by PO, by date, by warehouse number, by vendor, by inbound delivery. So there are different options which you can use in this screen to find your inbound delivery. So I put inbound delivery itself. So we just get the same delivery. And we hit execute. When we hit execute, then what happens? Then system tells me that there's this inbound delivery. This is a delivery date. This is the vendor. This is the name of the vendor. And this delivery is relevant for transfer order. And we need to create a transfer order. So now we're creating a transfer order using inbound delivery monitor. We select that. And then here we have a TON foreground, TON background. So we select TON foreground. So we go to TON foreground. Reach to the same screen. When we go to VL32N, it was same screen. We enter the plant 1000, hit enter. Now, same place we reached. And then here we have a put away in foreground. So, system going to uh, telling me that material going to this bin, storage type 001, storage section 001, and storage bin 110202. Hit enter. So now the system is saying that I want to confirm the material to this bin. This is the destination bin. This is the bin material is being placed. This is the recommendation. And then we save it. See the message in the bottom. Transfer order 10000332232 has been created. Okay. So that is what the transfer order basically means okay so transfer created we go back we go back okay now after creating a transfer order the next step is to confirm transfer order so we can directly confirm transfer order using lt12 or we can create with inbound delivery or we can use handle devices but we don't have handle devices so we're gonna look at the lt12 so we go back. So we go back to um, here. So where is a put um, put away? Create transfer order. And here we also have a confirm transfer order. And if I want to confirm transfer order, we can use LT12. And LT12, if I hit enter, transfer order number. And confirm and set the transfer has been confirmed. Go back. Exit anyway. Yes. Do you want to exit? Yes. Back. If I want to do this uh, using inbound delivery monitor, so this is the one way. And if I want to go to in, inbound delivery, and if I want to create a, if you want to do a confirmation of transfer your order using inbound delivery, we can do that. 
So that is where we have a VL06I. So we go back again to the inbound delivery. And then we want to do the same thing as far as the inbound delivery is concerned. Okay. So we want to create an inbound delivery. Okay. So we create um, for inbound delivery, we say for confirmation. So this is for confirmation. So now we are confirming transfer order. And then here I can put the inbound delivery. And then I say execute. So this execute button. And when I execute, and then we select it. So it's a delivery, there's a pick quantity. And if you want to confirm, if you see this button confirm in the foreground. So this is the confirm. So we confirm in the foreground. And then same screen comes up, hit enter, and then we set it. So now what happened? See the message in the bottom? One put away order confirm. So we are able to confirm the inbound delivery and we are able to confirm transfer order. Now I want to verify inbound delivery and what is my inbound delivery look like. So we create a PO, we create inbound delivery. We create a transfer order. We confirm transfer order. Now we want to verify delivery status. So for that, we go back. I want to go back to delivery. So this is the delivery VL32N. I put my inward delivery number and hit enter. Now this WM status becomes C. It was A before. Now this becomes C. C basically means that uh, transfer order has been confirmed. Waterway quantity is 100 now. Delivery quantity 100. This quantity, this quantity should be same. You cannot change it. So, put away has been done. Transfer order is been confirmed, and state has become C. Now, after that, if I want to go to edit, and if I want to go to pack, so there is a pack function here. So this is the pack. So we go to pack. So there is a pack. So if you want to pack it, so this you select go to edit, and this is uh, your packing station. This is the material to be packed, how much quantity to be packed, and all that. So we select that material. And then we go to pack. So this is an option for pack. Do you want to allow packaging material? Yes. So here we can select uh, what all we want to pack into it. So this is here. Say I want to pack into this pallet. So when I say this quantity goes away, and now system tell that this is the handling unit number. In this packaging material, this quantity has been packed. Now, if you want to unpack or de delete uh, this, if you see here, there's a delete button and we delete it. Do you want to delete? Yes. And we delete. If we select again, and if you want to pack it, you can pack again. And if we come back, allowed packaging unit, yes. We select the material we want to pack it so let's say i want to pack into this pallet so we want to select this pallet and the entire material has been packed we go back so we did packing unpacking and then packing okay we set it packing unpacking packing okay. and we saw that system where do handling unit as well. The last step is to do the post grocery receipt. We can do post grocery receipt using the, uh, you know, um, wheel 32N, which is, uh, so we go back to the post grocery receipt. So we can do post grocery receipt. So we close in this button. And uh, here we have a post grocery receipt button. And here we have an inbound delivery, VL32N. And if you go back here, 
and then we can create postgo receipt we click on this and then postgo receipt is done so that's the one way of doing it another way of doing this basically is that we have this inbound delivery monitor so inbound delivery monitor can be used for creating transfer order can be used for the purpose of um, confirmation transfer order can also be used for the postgo receipt so we want to go to collective processing by inbound delivery monitor and i put my inbound delivery monitor here and we hit enter and then we hit execute this is the execute button so here we have a delivery this is a date vendor amount we select that and then we go to postgo receipt so we click on it and system says what did you want to do it is just we want to do it on uh, 8th february we hit enter <clears throat> see the message at the bottom one successful zero and correct and this become green we are able to do good receipt now if you have done the good receipt we can verify this stock for verifying stock we can go to transaction code ls24 and then we hit enter this is ls24 stock for material i can enter the warehouse i can enter material i can enter plant and then we hit enter so now we have this 100 pieces lying in this bin so material has been placed so this is our end to end cycle of inbound delivery process we create a po we create inbound delivery we saw multiple ways we create a transfer order we confirm transfer order using inbound delivery monitor we verify status we did the packing we verify handling unit unpacking we create a handling unit again and then we create a good receipt directly using vl32n and we also did with the using in module monitor and we also verify stock in w and if i go back here and if i want to go back to the delivery and i check this uh, document flow so this is the document flow which we have here in the document flow we can check uh, this is uh, flow here and then what we can see <clears throat> So we created a delivery number completed transfer order number date completed handling unit because we created the packing so handling unit created number date and good receipt number date so this is the end-to-end -end, uh, inbound delivery process thank you